Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Teely here. If this is your first time seeing my face, hello there and welcome to my channel. And in today's video, I'm sharing with you guys five slow cooker, gluten-free, and lactose-free meals. Some of them are completely dairy-free. So if you're dairy-free, lactose-free, gluten-free, if you're a celiac, then this video is perfect for you. And also it's perfect for all of you workaholics out there because slow cooker meals, you can literally prep in the morning before you get to work. And then by the time you get home or you get done with your workload, dinner will be done. So without further ado, let's just get right on into this video. first meal that we are making is urban garlic chicken in the crock pot and these are all of the ingredients that you guys are going to need I just put them in here for you guys the first step is to simply prep our vegetables so what I did is I went through and I peeled all of my carrots and these are fresh carrots if you were wondering and then I just chopped them all up the first thing that I do usually is cut off the ends and then I cut the carrots and I just do it in small wedges I don't do anything fancy schmancy or anything like that and then what I do is I just toss them in the bottom of the crock pot you want to make sure that your vegetables are on the bottom Next, I'm prepping my fresh green beans, and I just cut the ends off of them and then leave them whole. That's just how my family's always done it, and we always eat them this way. But after all of them are chopped up, which I do a lot, um, the next step is to just toss them in the crock pot along with our carrots. And like I said, you want to make sure that all your vegetables are on the bottom. And then we're going to throw in our chicken tenders, aka tenderloins, in the crock pot on top of the vegetables. Next, we're putting in our Lowry's Butter and Herb Marinade, and then what we do is we fill it up halfway with water and then throw that in as well. Next, we put on high for the first hour, and this is only if you're making it later in the day. If you make it early in the morning, you can skip this step and leave it on low all day, but this is what we do when we make it later, and then after the hour, you put it on low. Give it a nice good stir so that we're getting the flavors from the marinade in all of the vegetables and the meats and then you want to recover it and let it simmer. Next we're making this Daya Deliciously Dairy Cheddar Style Deluxe Cheesy Mac and Cheese. So this is dairy free, soy free, and gluten free and what I did was is I just followed all of the steps to make it on the box. So there's not really much to say on here because if you don't want to get it from Walmart, HEB, or Aldi, you can just follow the instructions yourself. And that is the first meal out of five. Isn't it easy? Next, this is my favorite one. We are making a turkey ham, sweet potato, and quinoa bowl. This one's so good, you guys. Here are all of the ingredients that you guys are going to need. This is one of the ones with the most ingredients, but it's so worth it. First, we're just going to cut up our turkey ham. Yes, it's a real thing. No one here has ever heard of it, but if you're from Wisconsin or up north, you got the gist. So what we do is just cut the slices very thin thin not like super thin but thin enough to where we can cube it later but then we place it in the bottom of the crock pot you want to make sure that the ham is on the bottom for this one and after you put the ham in the crock pot the next step is to peel all of our sweet potatoes fun fact in this bag I actually got a white sweet potato so if you ever get that that is totally normal but it was pretty cool after you chop up your sweet potatoes like I'm doing here you want to make sure that they're all just cubed and diced and my mom did teach me a trick to use your hand to hold over the top of the knife while you're cutting them. It makes it so much easier. And then you want to just toss them in the crock pot. And then once you get all of the little straddlers and throw them in the crock pot, you're going to make our topping. So I just took a tablespoon of plant butter, some organic cinnamon, and then I also took a little bit of light brown sugar. And I pretty much cut them all together with this butter cutter to make kind of a crumble. If you guys watched my pie video, I'll have it linked in the description box below. This is what I did. And then after you do this, you're just going to put the mixture all over everything in the crock pot because this is going to melt as we cook. And then I took three quarter cup of pure maple syrup. And I put that all over everything in the crock pot. This is what's really going to make everything come together. And then for this one, I put it on low for the entire day. And then it's time to make the quinoa. Like I said, I just follow the instructions on the packages for these sides. But I am using just plain organic quinoa. Thank you. 
And here is meal number two. Out of all the meals, this was seriously my favorite. Next, we are making some lemon pepper chicken. If you've been watching my channel long enough, you know I love this combination. Here are all of the ingredients that you guys are going to need to make this delicious, yummy, and super healthy and flavorful meal. This one is so good as well. The first step is to once again prep our vegetables. So for this one, I did carrots and I did broccoli, but I'm just chopping up my carrots and making sure that everything is all good and ready to go. These were not thawed, but you just throw your meat in there, throw the carrots in there, chop up your broccoli. If you guys don't like fresh broccoli, that's okay. You can throw in whatever you want, but I just basically tear mine apart and then I throw it in the crock pot. Next, I did some green beans as well, kind of last minute, but I just cut them up and tossed them in with the other vegetables. Next, you guys already know, we're going to throw in our Lowry's Lemon Pepper Marinade and then fill it up halfway with water, shake it up, and then pour the rest out. This pretty much also helps reduce the amount of sodium that's in each serving, and it definitely evens out the flavors and makes it go a longer way. For this one, I did have to cook it on high for the first hour and then turn it down to low until dinner time, and that is pretty much what I did almost all the time, but you have to give it a nice good stir after that first hour to make sure everything gets the flavor. And for this one, I'm using the Walmart Great Value Butter and Herb Noodle Side or Pasta Side, however you view it. And I just followed the instructions on the bag. That's pretty much for every side in this video, but these sides are so easy. You can find them at the Walmart Neighborhood Market or the Walmart in your local area. And that's it. Here is meal number three, you guys. Super quick and easy. Next, we are making some barbecue chicken sandwiches. This one is so good, you guys. Here are the ingredients for this one. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to throw your chicken in the bottom of the crock pot and then what you're going to do is you're going to put in your barbecue sauce and I always use the same barbecue sauce, I'll have it linked in the description, but you follow the same steps with the marinade and then you cook it on high for the first hour, especially if your meat is frozen, this is definitely what you want to do to thaw it out and then you want to turn it to low and carefully start taking out your chicken and we're about to start shredding it. So one piece at a time, you guys want to take it out of the crock pot, put it in a separate container, whether that's a bowl or a plate, get two forks, and get to shredding. This is the most labor-intensive part of this entire meal, but it is totally worth it in the end. Believe me, it is super delicious, and you will not be sorry that you took the time to shred this chicken. After you shred it, you want to throw it back in the crock pot and mix it all together in the barbecue sauce and let it simmer and just cook its way through. The rest of the meal is pretty simple. Put it on ciabatta roll, get some chips, gluten-free pickles, and it is ready to eat. Lastly, we are making some gluten-free spaghetti and Italian sausages in the crock pot. Yes, in the crock pot. So here are all of the ingredients that you guys need. It's pretty easy and self-explanatory if you've ever made pasta in your life. The first step is to obviously cook the sausages, so I use just some coconut oil cooking spray and then put my sausages in a pan and we're just going to cook them, flip them, make sure that they're fully cooked and all that jazz. Pretty easy, anyone would know how to do this, but it's in here anyway. After they're cut, you're going to want to just chop them up into some thin slices and this is pretty much going to replace the meatballs and then you're going to open your tomato sauce. We did no salt added if you guys were wondering and then we put our pasta in the bottom of the crock pot and then we put in our water and on top of that we will go in with our no salt added tomato sauce. After that, you're going to throw in all of your sausages that you cut up and then you're going to cook it on high for the first hour and you're also going to toss in all of your seasonings. We use garlic, onion, and Italian seasoning in this household and then what you're going to do is just mix it all together and that's it. Pretty easy. This one's probably the easiest one out of all of them, so yeah. As you guys saw, the cool thing about this video and all these meal ideas is that they are so 
easy. The slow cooker is a slow cooker. You can throw anything in it and it pretty much always comes out really good and delicious. I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys like these five meals or meals throughout the week kind of videos, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up because I do believe I have a breakfast one coming for you guys soon and I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you all are staying safe, healthy, and continuing to be the best people that you all could possibly be. And with all that being said, I love you guys so very much. I'll see you in my next video. If you guys would like to shop the merch, you guys can either check the description box down below or check the little links down below this video. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Love you guys.